What is up, YouTube? This is Kolo K here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to import custom emblems into Rockstar Social Club. Now, as you guys can see, I'm on my Mac. This works on both Macs and PCs. Uh, the program I'm going to be using on for the Mac is Text Wrangler. However, if you're on your PC, you're going to want to use Notepad Plus. And the steps are the same. You're going to need a uh, Firefox or Google Chrome, preferably Google Chrome because it's the easiest and you can follow exactly what I'm doing. Now, here's what you got to do. We have the program solved out. Good. Download the program that's right for you. The links will be in the description. And come to this website right here, Vector Magic. You want to go to Upload Image and Trace. Choose an image that is 512 by 512. As you can see, 512 by 512. It can have a transparent background if you want it to. I don't care if it does or not. Actually, I do care if it goes on vehicles or whatever. I'm going to click. I mean, once you upload it, I can't do it because I've already used twice um used it twice but just upload the image and yeah you upload the image and you um you click save as svg convert to svg when you get the option to and you'll be good from there now just load up rockstar social club and create a new emblem um create a new emblem uh make the background clear you have to do this for it to work and open up your SVG image in Notepad Plus or Text Wrangler. Now SVG, just paste it in there, and it's a lot of codes. Don't worry about any of this. None of it. Just go three lines down. So one, two, one, two, three, three. Go to the fourth line. And just go all the way down, and make sure not to get SV the SVG at the bottom. So you're gonna copy that, and then you could just uh, minimize text wrangler. Come over here, right click, press inspect element, and look for wherever it says 512 SVG 512 um, SVG height 512. Edit is HTML, and come right here at the end where it says where it has rectangle, and then it has the Pac-Man signs. Come right in the between here, and just paste it. Now on the Mac, you're gonna press Command V. But on the PC, you just press Control V, which is, you know, paste. Yeah. Then you're going to exit out of this. The And here you go. Here's your emblem. Now, if you want to, you can save it right here. But if you guys want it to be a transparent background, right click, press in, um, inspect element right on the white part of the background. And just press, right click and delete node. And it's transparent. As you can see, you can do whatever you want after this because you cannot edit it at all after you finish doing this. So get whatever you need to get done right now out of the way. Then you're just going to press save and it's going to save it as an emblem. And as you guys can see right there, and I'm going to go to publish and I'm going to publish it to die all jakes. And it has not been published die all jakes. And that doesn't actually just publish it. You have to actually click on die all jakes. Uh, on the emblem, fail, S start new, go back, back, go to the crew's emblem page and go to manage crew, and right here, you just, um, you look for, you press the thing in the corner, the crayon or pencil in the corner, and you're going to click, it may not, uh, as you guys can see for me, what happened is that it's a, uh, um, it doesn't show it for some odd reason, but over time it will develop and show it, but just click it. I have three, I have the official, the original crew emblem, troll face, which was our most recent one, and now Spooderman. Um, so yeah, and then you just edit your crew however much you want, save it, and uh, yeah. That's it. The crew emblem is the crew emblem is Spooderman. It will take a while to update on the Rockstar website, but that's kind of normal with Rockstar in general. So yeah, that's it. YouTube, thanks for watching.